Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download and install Sodium Extra for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you'll do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them, but simply go ahead and go to your search bar and search up modwinf, like so. Once you enter it, you should see modwinf.com, simply click on the modwinf link and you should be on the modwinf homepage. Now, simply go to the top of the website to discover content and then go down to mods. Then, simply go to search mods and type in sodium extra. Once you hit this, you should see Sodium Extra right here. Simply click on Sodium Extra name. And this will be new to the homepage for Sodium Extra on Modern. Now, simply go to the Versions tab. And click on Platform. And select Fabric. Then, go to Game Versions. And select the game version you're going to be playing. So I'm just going to be selecting the latest Minecraft Java version. And we have this one here. So, you just need to go to the green download button and click download. Then, what you want to do here is simply click on the name of the version. And here we see that we need a dependency, which is sodium. It is required. Iris shaders is to get shaders working, but that's optional. But sodium itself is required. So, simply click on sodium. And this will bring you to the classic sodium page. Simply go to the versions tab. Go to platform. Select fabric like before. Go to game versions and select the same Minecraft version as you did before, which for me was the latest one. And just download the latest file. So click the green download button. Now you have Sodium Extra and Sodium Fabric. What you want to do here is simply get yourself Fabric. And to get Fabric, you need to go and search up Fabric Minecraft, like so. Once you enter it, you should see Fabric MC.net. Simply click on Fabric and you should be on the Fabric homepage. Now simply go and click the blue download button and click the blue download for Windows button. Now we should have Fabric Installer, Sodium and Sodium Extra. What you want to do is simply close your web browser and you want to open up your downloads folder. So here's the downloads folder and you might have a different download directory depending on your defaults for your web browser. But for most of you guys you will just have the default Windows downloads folder. So what you want to do here is double click the fabric installer and for the fabric installer just select the game version that you want to play which is also the same one as the two mods and click install okay and close now go to your minecraft launcher and you'll need to select well you need to make sure that you have fabric selected here and if it is like so you're good that means you have fabric now what you want to do is go to the top of the launcher to installations here and what you want to do here is simply go over fabric loader and go to the folder icon and then you want to go to your mods folder once you're this you simply want to go to your downloads folder you want to select the sodium and sodium extra mods you want to copy them then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click paste here we have copy pasted sodium and sodium extra in the dom minecraft mods folder now just go to your Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and then click play. And yeah, now we will be able to test out Sodium and Sodium Extra in action. Okay, so once we have Minecraft here, what you want to do is simply go to a realm, multiplayer, so server, or single player world. It is the same for all. And once you are in a playable world, here we have Sodium. And we can test this by simply going to F3 and here of the sodium. If I just go on chat, we can see sodium renderer that is currently working, giving around a thousand FPS. And if we go out of that, we can also go out and test sodium extra features. So to access sodium extra features, you just have to go to escape, options, video settings, and here is sodium extra features. There's so many features, it even overlaps this thing. So, these are all the features that you can change to get better FPS for Minecraft. We can even turn on FPS. And here we can see that we have our FPS in the top left corner. And of course, there is quite a few settings you can change to get better FPS as well. It just adds a bit more FPS 
boosting options that classic sodium doesn't come with. So yeah, that's how we get sodium extra for Minecraft Java. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!